I still don't like getting overly excited about E3 presentations of upcoming games, but man, it's really hard not to be with Zelda Breath of the Wild. The long-awaited Zelda Wii U finally has an official subtitle, an official trailer, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And having seen a little bit more of the gameplay and known just how much this game has gone into it, I mean, this is a game that's been four and a half years in the making by the time it'll have released when you consider that entire life cycle of the Wii U. And you know, without a doubt, for a premier console that Nintendo would have released, a Zelda game was going to be in the mix. They took their Switch time with this one but man it looks pretty good so far and honestly going back to the whole thing about trying not to get excited about games at e3 having seen more of that gameplay and seen sort of what it's all about at least on a basic level and knowing that when it comes to the story and the puzzle and design aspects in general of zelda games nintendo tends not to screw it up so with all that kind of being thrown into the pot I feel like it's plenty of valid reasoning to indeed get pumped about this. I think one of the common themes that you're gonna hear throughout things like E3 every single year is talk about giant leaps forward, taking the next step with this series. But in the case of Zelda, this looks like to be possibly the biggest leap forward that this series has taken, uh, as opposed to anything else, probably since the Ocarina of Time. First and foremost, the landscape of this game looks absolutely amazing. I'm really hoping that everything that we can see throughout that massive horizon is actually accessible and that we can go to those places and explore this world. They've talked extensively about how freaking big this world is, and, and the idea of going to all those places really excites me. I I also really like how much variation there seems to be within the landscape in the sense that a mountain or a hill here and there isn't necessarily just a cookie cutter mountain or a hill, but rather might actually be its own unique design for every area. And that could probably explain the whole four and a half years in the making thing, but so far it looks like that really is the case. And I think it, overall that gives you a better sense of feeling more immersed in a world when nothing is necessarily familiar or repackaged parts of it placed somewhere else. You have to really get acquainted with this world and become familiar with it. And as you do, it becomes that much more memorable of an experience overall. One of the first thoughts I had about this all is that it looks like they took a lot of the climbing and exploration aspects of something like Assassin's Creed, along with a lot of the landscapes or rural areas from the likes of Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto, along with a Zelda story and Zelda puzzles and Zelda power-ups. And it's really, hard not to get excited for something like that, especially if they do it all well, and, and I think that's probably going to be the case. Now, it's hard to say that any one thing I could label as the thing that got me the most excited, but it, it looks like I'm going to be fully enabled to do some serious item hoarding in a Zelda game. There's, there's going to be interchangeable armor or clothing and weapons and shields and consumable items and a lot of them, apparently, with various means of actually acquiring them and that that to me is arguably the biggest leap forward that this game is making within the Zelda series now I know something like that isn't necessarily the kid friendly really simple clean cut type of thing that Zelda has normally gone with but maybe that's Nintendo in some way acknowledging that at least when it comes to Zelda that audience has grown up in a lot of ways and we've adjusted to games where we have that customizability and we really enjoy it and at least to some degree we're getting Getting that with Zelda Breath of the, of the Wild and and so far it looks pretty cool. I'm interested to see just how in-depth it goes and if there's other things that you can you know add on to certain weapons to make them stronger. If you can add certain elements to them, that'll be really cool to see. I'm excited to see overall what they do with that and if you know something like the master sword is going to be the end all be all or i guess probably more than likely you'll find various ways to upgrade that uh into becoming something more powerful by the end of it all anyway that's just a couple quick thoughts i had about this whole thing the game while it has me excited also had me like a little bit emotional that Zelda is going to be almost like connecting with adult me in a sense. I thought it was really cool in the gameplay demo they did too, uh, seeing the Temple of Time. So it has me curious as to what exact world within the Zelda timeline does this take place? Uh, are we essentially in the former area where Ocarina of Time took place, but they've just kind of fleshed it out a little bit more? It has me a little bit curious, and I think if they threw in certain callbacks like that within the game, that would be really cool. But again, just my initial thoughts on the whole thing. I haven't looked a 
ton more in depth as to some of the more specific aspects of this game, but uh, but so far so good. And like I said, when it comes to gameplay, if Nintendo's going to execute that properly and not try to do something too risque with things, uh, with utilizing you know motion control technology, things like that, I think they're going to be just fine as far as story goes. But uh, I'm eager to know what other people think about this whole thing. So whatever you thought about this trailer, the gameplay demo that we got to see for Zelda Breath of the Wild, let me know in the comments. I, I really enjoy talking about it. And uh, and if you like this video, please hit it with the like button. I always appreciate that. I know this wasn't anything too hard hitting, but you know, I had to chime in because uh, I enjoy me some Zelda. But uh, as always, everybody, above all else, thanks so much for watching.